I want you to tell me what's a set of numbers. Write it down, have a think. Value, whatever it might be. The n is implying what term? N term. 
I'll put n in our equation, so that's one little hint. So for example, term two, term three, term four. I'll do it underneath because I had an orange piece of perfect. So I've got term one, term two, term three, and term four. That's going to keep going until I get to the nth term, some value, I don't care what it is. Make a rule. Now what are these examples of again? Oh, okay, interesting. Has anyone got an equation? Good, that's alright. I'm done. I'm just going to feed group information out because I want you all to have a crack at it. I want you to find the journey for yourself. I know the answer, I'd just rather let you find it by yourself. One little thing I want to say is these are like linear equations. And we know linear equations come in the form of y equals mx plus c. Happy with that? So what I try and do is, if, I, if this is an example of that, I'm really good with this. I'm really good with y equals mx plus c. I've seen that heaps. I've never seen this before in my life. So let's try and make some connections. What's this tn? See, he's talking about this tn. I've got no idea what he's talking about. He's never taught us that before. Where do you reckon that the lake, so where does that connect to the linear equation? So it's kind of like y equals tn, doesn't it? So I've really got y equals something plus n times something. What's n like? Terry? N's a bit like x, isn't it? So what parts of this equation am I missing? So I'm missing my m value and my c value, aren't I? What's the c value again? That's the y. So y intercept. If you were explaining this to a year three kid, and they're like, what's a y intercept? What would you sort of say? Where it crosses the Where it crosses the yeah, where what, what's that? Where it crosses what? Even younger, drop it down, right down. Year three kid. Where it hits the line, yeah, maybe. The what line? Even easier. Where it? Crosses. Yeah, crosses. They don't know what negative numbers are. They don't know what negatives are. So what do you describe it as? Where it starts. Where it starts? And we know that's not an accurate definition because we know it goes on forever, but this is a year three kid. So where it starts, interesting. What would you describe the gradient? Year seven kid. You're teaching a year seven kid, getting paid a bit extra pocket money. He comes in, you ask to describe a gradient. Different hand, different hand, then. For every one that goes across, how high it goes up. So every step it goes across, like every x value increases, it goes up a certain amount. Interesting. Where does our function start? Zero. Does our function start at zero? One. Starts at one in this scenario, doesn't it? That's like our c value, isn't it? Now, look, that one works for this example. I want a rule that works for every example. You're making a rule, not a specific one for this. So what's one? What will? T1. T1. So I could replace one with C1, couldn't I? So C is like my first term. I just need that little m value now. Would it be 2? It is 2 in this example. How high it goes up. It, how high it goes up. Can we work with a different word? A more mathematical word. I don't want to write how high it goes up. Hmm? Yeah. We don't know. It's not really going to be called m though. But you're right. It is a slope. We're not going to call it m. 
how do, if I look at this, right, this, this sequence of numbers, how do you know that value is 2? What are you looking at? The yeah. next number. Yeah, the next number, and you look, so the next number is 7, so my, my value is 7, is it? Yeah. Uh, no. What am I looking at? The difference between those. The difference. It's the difference between the numbers, isn't it? And that should stay the same every time. And that's why this is a sequence and this is not. Because is the difference the same? It's getting bigger every time, isn't it? So they give you this fancy word, arithmetic sequence. What they really mean is a type of linear equation. It's just represented differently. So what should my equation look like? Tn equals T1 plus N times T. Which is just a version of Y equals MX plus C, where Y is represented as Tn, our nth term. X is our number of terms, or the term number we're looking for. M is our difference. And C is our first term. I'm going to write those in as well because I reckon you'll forget. Tn is not as um, total. No, no, it's the value of the specific term. So it's not the summing, it's just the value of what's you know, the 20th term. I'd let n equal 20 and find out what it is. So let's do that. Tell me what the 20th term in this sequence is. 